I'm Sam Rain from Red Hat Middleware Consulting. Hi, I'm Evan Malibert from Red Hat Platform Consulting. And today's topic is about freeing up your out scene to innovate while also not worrying about what the application side is doing and by using Ansible and OpenShift. So Abner, can you tell us a little bit more about Ansible? Uh, Ansible consists of Ansible Engine and uh, Ansible Tower. Ansible Engine is a CLI tool and Ansible Tower is a GUI tool that we use to deploy, uh, orchestrate, and do configuration management. So what does Ansible Tower add that you can't get with just Ansible? Uh, Ansible Tower sits on top of Ansible Engine. Ansible Engine only provides console access and does not provide security functions. Ansible Tower provides role-based access for users and also provides API integration for your ticketing systems. So what are you guys doing on the application side with OpenShift? So on the app side, we're using OpenShift, which is a container orchestration engine. Uh, it allows app teams to work in a completely self-service manner, spinning up, spinning down apps, and uh, doing whatever they need to to get their business value delivered. Uh, the way that app teams typically work with OpenShift is through the web console. And one of the components is the service catalog. The service catalog allows app teams to search for different application types they might want to deploy in the cluster. So let's say they wanted to deploy a Node.js app. They would come in and search the service catalog and pick a template, which requires a number of parameters that they put in for things like a Git source URL or whatever else they might need. And then when, this, when they submit, the service catalog passes those parameters over to the template service, or to the template service broker which then provisions the resources in their project. And those resources are things like deployment configs, build configs, anything that they need to run their application. What it doesn't do is it doesn't allow teams to provision things off of the cluster. And so what they generally will need to do is submit a ticket that gets picked up by the ops team and the ops team will provision any of their resources. So let's say that application needs to talk to a database. Uh, the ops team will provision the database and then pass credentials and connection information back to the app team. The problem here is that this long process can lead to a lot of miscommunication and downtime on both the application side and the operations team when they're actually fulfilling those tickets. Uh, but I think Ansible Tower APIs can help with that, right? Uh, yes, you can use Ansible Tower to uh, integrate with your ticketing system. And now from Ansible, you can use the Ansible playbook to deploy your database servers that uh, the ops teams already have default variables to deploy the right database. And now you don't have to wait for the ticketing system. So that saves time. But it's not a true self-service uh, module. So how can we use the self-service uh, function that OpenShift uses. So we can actually take these same playbooks that your team is already maintaining and put them into the Ansible service broker and connect that to the service catalog. What that allows the app teams to do is go into the same service catalog that they are already using for getting their application templates and select off-cluster resources that are provided by the service broker. So they would select their Node.js app and their database and the Node.js app would be provisioned by the template service broker, but the database would be provisioned by the Ansible service broker, which would run the same playbook and then bind the credentials and connection information back to your project so your application can connect almost immediately. Uh, this takes your provisioning time down from days to minutes. Uh, so your app teams can work in complete autonomy from your ops teams and focus on delivering business value. And I think it allows your ops team to have a lot more free time too, right? Yeah, it frees up my operations team to write new playbooks, innovate new infrastructure. Uh, and if someone wanted to bring this into their organization, where would, where would they go? So what they could do is they can contact their Red Hat account executive, or they can go to redhat.com slash services.